Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded on the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. Happy Monday. Give us a second to load here and get everything looking ship shape like it's supposed to for you. And then I'll swap my screen out here too, real fast. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it may be for you. Thanks for being here. Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastico. Beautiful morning. Lots of sun. Ah, the birds are singing. The birds are singing here. Uh, I got some stuff in my pocket. We got to go home and uh, drop it off. That's the first thing we got to do. Go put things away. Pew. Then we can come back here and work on this uh, entrance some more. Wisconsin, hello. Shelly, hello. Barbaric, hello. Let's uh, go put some stuff away. Georgina, hello. Thanks for being here. How you doing? Thomas, good morning. Afternoon and evening. Get the place opened up a little bit. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? It's Mr. Rogers, right? I think so. I think that's what that is. It's funny, these... Things in my from my childhood come up in my head like that. Yeah, Mr. Rogers, okay. I thought so. I did. Oh, what do I've got? I've got stuff for bar I've got to go up to see yeah. Most of this stuff goes upstairs. I got some sticks on me and I got some bug guts too. Bug guts, bug guts, bug guts. Um uh, bug guts, I think is over is it over here? Nope, that's scrolls. Bug guts are right here. There we go. And then, yeah, the rest of the stuff goes up there with uh, either Balthazar or up at uh, Emily's place. Poor guy. Basement dweller. Mr. Crowley. Our dead friend, Mr. Crowley. I like our new trophy set up with the green light. It looks good. I really love having that eyeball right there because he can just stare at me while I'm sitting here. It's perfect. Yeah, worked out pretty good. You guys do that? Do you have the stuff from your childhood that pops into your head? Everything back... Well, everything now too, but... Introductions to intros for shows and stuff were always longer. They went on forever sometimes, it seems like. Uh, I've got the uh, money. The money is out here. There we go. This is the drop chest, so you can see it's also full of stuff, but I don't feel like putting it away. We are going up top, though, so let's go ahead and take this with us. We'll take all the food items with us, and we'll put those up with Emily, since we're going to go up there anyways. Take that. Uh, I'll grab some salt. Why not? Because we usually use it up there. So we'll take it. Uh, we got some of that. Some of that. And I think that's good. Oh. I... Yeah. That's nah, okay. We can stay right there. Maybe some of the bone, the bone dust should go up there too. I think we need it in some of our planter beds up there. We'll get to work on the, uh, the new place here in a little bit. We've got some chores to do. Monday. Oh, our mushroom crops look good too. I'm glad the crops don't die if you don't pick them right away because sometimes it's nice. I love the fact that stuff just stays put. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't croak. You don't have to worry about that, you know. I do like that. I like it a lot. I got some chicken wings on me. Got some eggs. Eggs are down here. Uh, eggs have become a thing now. Huh? Oh, fruit salad. Barbaric suggested fruit salad. Fruit salad. I remember. I remember. All my flowers are in here. I think the other way of doing the uh, inventory in this game is probably a, maybe a better idea where your box 
contains the certain a uh, biomes stuff, you know. I think barbaric is your is your storage set up that way. Or was that flat broke that had that that way? Storage is based on the biome and not the individual ingredients, which is kind of a nice thing actually. Uh, I have some. Where's that go? Uh, I'm gonna throw that in there too. That's flowery stuff, so I'm gonna put that in there as well. All right, and the rest of this is building stuff, bomb stuff. We got building stuff in our hot bar down there. I got a little bit. I got a jug of water. A jug of water. Let's get that water put away. And oh, oh, that took my food, didn't it? Uh, let's take the food back. I don't want that going that way. There we go. Perfect. I do need to make some more of these spice teas, so we may have to get some spice going as well. Uh, Tony, just got back from shopping, and it's good to be here. It's great to have you here. Hope you're doing well. We are just getting started doing some of that, uh, you know, that maintenance stuff that we do. Yeah, we could make some more flatbread. What the heck? Why not? Should I do that? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't make any more flatbread because we're not really eating the flatbread. What does it take to make the fruit salad? Do, 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 do. What you got? Hello, Emily. What you doing? Um, we're looking for healing. Okay, the healing is the fruit salad. Okay, we can make that. Look at that. I love the fact that we're going to go back now. The honey comes into play. The strawberries, the purple berries, all that stuff. And even the yucca fruit, too. Fortunately, it seems that like we have a decent supply of it. The strawberries. We're short on strawberries. Look at that. Because you know what? You stop picking them up, right? Hey, Jan Garber. How you doing? Fred Rogers was ordained as a Presbyterian minister. Yes, I, I actually watched um, the... Um, Tom Hanks. Queen Death Ray. Well, that's fun to say. Hi, all mushroom and egg is good for magic builds. Uh, we did make some, we do have some actually. I think we've got some of the uh, mushroom stuff made. If I'm not mistaken, we made some of that um, a stream or two back. Uh, Barbaric, yes, and then several huge regular boxes. In your room for the armor, weapons, and go box with our scrolls and spells and keys. That's probably good too to have that to, that go box, that to go box that you go up to, and all your the stuff you know you need on any kind of sort of run out that you got to do. Your adventuring, you just pop it in, and boom, you're off and ready to go. Yeah. Tony was dodging some rain. <laughs> it's just sunshine here. I tell you what, it's just sunshine. Let's make um. Well, I've got that many strawberries. Let's do that. I can pick up some more strawberries, right? Sure. Thank you, Emily. Now, what am I replacing with that? Um, am I replacing the Constitution food with this? Because that lasts for 45 minutes. It's plus 5 health regeneration, plus 3 stamina recharge. This is endurance, which is also kind of a stamina thing, right? And this is plus five intelligence, plus 60 shroud protection. That's why we made the mushroom soup, because I figured if I'm not going to be in the shroud, why would I use the glow soup? It gives you an extra, what, extra intelligence, one point in intelligence. And I, I don't know if it lasts longer. I can't remember. Uh, oh, I'm replacing the tea with this. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so we're looking like this for a loadout when we go on adventure. Next, uh, we've got one more hollow hall to do, right? So we'll take that mix right there with us. Uh, again, we don't really need the shroud, but it does give you that extra bit of constitution. I th it's in the food box, I think. We've got the mushroom soup in here too, I think. Yeah, right here, right here. So yeah, this is plus four intelligence for 40 minutes, and the other is plus five for 45 minutes. So I don't know. I've got the stuff to make it, so it's not like it's a big deal, you know? We just planted a whole bunch of those blue ones out there, so... We've got more of them. So it might as well go with the extra one point, right? And the extra five minutes. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? But we, we'll just, we'll put it over here for now. We'll take this right now. There we go. T can go in here. And boom. There we are. Uh, bone meal. I think we're going to put that down in the farm plots. I got some of these guys too. I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Uh, 
we probably should go down and see Adeline too and drop off the uh, the extra arrows that we have. All right, boop. Emily, have a nice day. Yeah, we got a few blue mushrooms. I also planted some of the, more of the chamomile, which I, I don't know if we're going to need that right now. But anyways, we you know, the garden it looks nice. We got the beehives and everything. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Do I have bone meal in any of these? I saw it. There we go. Let's go and drop that in there too. And we've got some more Azure Rizula seedlings available to us. Okay, sweet. I think that's everything out of my inventory, right? Well, I've got salt. I guess the salt, huh? Um, I don't want to turn. Yeah, I really don't want to make. I don't. Well, I'll, you know what? Here we go. <laughs> Trying to make this more difficult than it has to be. Give me the flour. You can have the salt. I'll throw you in there. I'm gonna take that flatbread too. And I think what I'll do is, is there flour in here? Can I put this in here? Oh, perfect, just store right there. Cause that's what I use that for. That's the only thing I use that for. And we are going to drop off, we'll drop off those 20 fruit salads in there so I don't have those and that. And boom, we're ready to go. Look at that, it only took, Ten whole minutes. Uh, I'll pick this on my own time. Looks pretty though. Looks pretty. Uh, okay, we got to see Adlin, right? Oh, I'm gonna screw this up. My first flight in you know a few days. <laughs> oh, brutal. This is brutal. All right, let's go see her. You know, you tried to be cool, and you're just no good at it. It just happens. It just happens. <laughs> All right, we'll drop those in there. What are these? Are revitalizing health potions? I don't need this or this on me at the moment, do I? All right. Thank you, Adeline. I will... Did I... Ugh, never mind. We'll just leave that there. I've got an extra couple health potions in here I don't need. And we got some shroud. Juice. And I've got a few of these little sparks. There we go. Thank you for putting up with me, for putting our stuff away, at least this bit of the stuff. <laughs> Anyways, Surface Healer 63, hello. Thomas Olson, hello. Queen Death Ray. All right. Oh, the coffee is hot, and I just brewed it. I think we're good here. Home sweet home feels good to me. Oh, man, I just love being in here. It's so nice. It's just so nice. Uh, let's go to the world. Let's go to our new place. Need a proper landing strip? Yeah. I guess that's what this thing is right here, you know. This is where you pop up, so this is probably where you should pop out. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for gliding in. Yeah. Um, you know, you can glide to here from here. That's well, well that's how I got here, so. Uh, but I don't know if there is a pathway all the way down to this lowest level in this area. I, I would think there is, but it doesn't seem like there is. It's a pretty solid line around there. I mean, we got access to all of this here. Maybe it's over here, the way to get down. Nevertheless, it's, um, you know, we're up pretty high. If they ever did turn to have, say, some of these patrols come after you, that would be kind of cool, actually. I, I would go for that. Well, I can't go for that, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I could, I could go for that. So we do, where do we leave off? We had our arches here. We had filled in our windows and noticed that, you know, just sometimes the texture goes a different direction than what you think it's going to do. But for the overall most part, the overall most part, mm-hmm, that's what I said. The overall most part, it looks pretty good. <laughs> the overall most part. Holy cow. Um, we talked about doing some more decorative stuff downstairs. I think what I wanted to figure out today with you guys, if I could, is how we're going to... I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking about making this the same height all the way through here. 
this height here. All the way across this thing as well. Which would actually get rid of this window right here. That window would be gone from this side. And we would do the thick walls here. With, with more arches. <laughs> more arches. The more arches we can have, I think, the better it'll look. In my humble opinion. Opinion. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to just basically cover that up. So... I am going to get rid of that window there. It's going to it's that's going to disappear. Just going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to do that. Let's put our corners in as well right now. Is it just two? No, it's three, huh? Yeah, we're going to have to go get some shroud liquid. I should have made some more of these when I had the chance. We're going to do that. I really want this corner to have this as well. And we'll come over here and do the same thing. I do I want it to I want it to have that kind of corner before I have I don't know what I'm trying to say. Before I have any gaps. Do that right there. And then you are actually going to go... Yes, you can go right here. That's perfect. And we're spent. That was fast. I was thinking, uh, okay, Tony's just uh, thinking from the gardening area down to the main base for the landing strip, huh? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. This this glider works so differently from the other ones. Um, it's so powerful. It's super fast, too. At least it seems like it's super fast. Oswald, we are here for some blocks, buddy. Almost forgot what I was doing. Yeah, so we can't get the green luminescent block. We're going to have to go back in there and get some of that stuff. i got to figure out where it is in there that's going to be the easiest for us to get it. Okay. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to go back into that first. It should be fun. Go in there real quick and, and just kind of um, wipe everybody out as quick as we can. And then find that green, that green slime, right? It's the... Um, It's the slime. Something. There's 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 green slime. It's, it's green slime, right? Green slime. I'm gonna sleep so we don't we have plenty of sunshine over at the other place. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. What's the fastest way to get to the carpenter? Oh, okay, what is the fastest way to get to the Carpenter? It's to fly down from the starting base location to the east. Unless you have Lowland's Spire open, then you fly from there. How to open the Carpenters? Go to get to the Carpenters' uh, little spot that he's in. Crowley? Stay dead, buddy. Stay dead. Come out here so I don't hit my head. Nothing worse than hitting your head when you're, you know, zapping around. <laughs> ah, the sun. She's rising. I think it's a little bit darker at this other location. I probably, maybe, it, well, it, it, yeah, it is because there's giant trees. It's a huge canopy here. But the sun looks really cool coming through here. Looks nice. Uh, okay, we got a few more blocks. Let's go put these down and we'll probably have to go get some more. A shroud liquid. Let's see, how's that gonna how's that gonna do? Yeah, we're gonna have to do something to beef this up. We'll figure something out. Everybody have a good weekend? I had a good one. Good fun. It was a nice weekend. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of which one of these I want to use. I was gonna let's check out this bigger one here. Maybe this might be appropriate for We're kinda of going with that small one right there, aren't we? Not that I want to make these small, just that that's the one we use there. I just don't know if this is gonna let's well let's let's put it there and see how it looks. Let's 
not too bad, huh? I, I just don't want it to uh, close in on me. If we do that, I think that looks pretty good, huh? Hmm. It's tax day. Hey, Terry's here. Yay. <laughs> yeah, tax day. Ours have been done for a long time. Variety jumps on those right away. She's just a genius when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, you want to go that way, huh? All right, there we go, and there we go, and there we go, and there we go. Look at those guys just pop into place, huh? We were, I was struggling like crazy last week. Okay, there we go, and then we're going to do... Yeah, we're going to have to pop that out somehow. I was just thinking if this was one room, we could at least get somebody in here. Uh, I, need a, I need the workbench. I, I, it'd be kind of good to get each of our people over here if we could. Some of them, anyways. All right, and then we'll go ahead and fill this in. I guess I could just use the floor pieces. I don't know why I do this. I guess just, I don't know. Because it's me. It's kind of a waste of a block, but whatever. Uh, let's see if there's a respawn on the edge, then just follow the bridge in. We had some forms that needed corrections, so couldn't start until March. Ah, need to make some huge magic boxes for your block materials. Ah, uh, that would be probably a good idea, huh? Yeah. If I have magic boxes sitting here, can I pull from the base? The other base? I'm of the generation that no longer pays UK taxes apart from out sales tax. Whatever I purchased. Oh, that's interesting, Tony. Okay. I feel like we're good here. Then we could do something. We could do something in these areas here. Maybe we could put trophies right there. That would look pretty nice. Anyways, there's all kinds of different ideas we'd come up with for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. I think that was. I hope that was right right there. I think I might be better off being up above. Okay, so... Hmm... What I'm thinking here now is I don't like the fact that this has got a 2 and then a 1 here. So... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm thinking before I go any further, let's go ahead and get rid of you and you. Uh, and then I guess that little fella right up there too. Oh, it was that instead. Okay. Um, okay, I guess I gotta redo all of this, don't I? That's okay. We can do it. Do like that, right? Yeah, that's better. That's much better. And then maybe we get rid of the other side opening. Again, I'm going to waste these, but I like to do it first. I don't know why. I'll go down back down here, and we'll throw these guys in. Uh, you go there, and you go right there. Wow, everybody is just snapping into place nicely today. You notice that? I guess, I don't know. The snap point is sweet. It's working well. Uh, yep, and yep, there we go. All right. Huh, I almost feel like I know what I'm doing. Hmm. I guess this one's lower because... Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, um, hmm. I'm thinking this is a nice little entranceway, right? You come down the stairs here. You still have a little something to buy the stairs. We'll do some trim in here or something. Then you got a left turn and boom, you're inside this room here. So this could be kind of cool. Now, we talked about roof, and I think what we kind of thought about doing is this would make a really good um, kind of watch-out tower, basically, up here, right? Uh, you have, no, you have to put the materials in the box at the new base. Oh, I see. So anything I need... For, okay, gotcha. Doesn't, it doesn't travel that far. There's not that much magic in the chest. 
You have to have the stuff here. Gotcha. That is something that I shall have to work on. Uh, so we have our doorway here that takes us into the tower. We got a nice left turn here, nice and open. We got a couple of couple more arches. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with a roof on here. I'm just talking about that. Let's go ahead and switch to. Uh, well, we want that. We want the shroud wood. I guess this way, if I have to, I can get uh, we can pick up some shroud wood. Um, while we're also picking up the shroud liquid. Okay, so that hmm. Okay, I'm thinking... See, I don't like the fact that I'm, I'm missing now this row of... That's the wrong block. I'm missing the well block here. It's just flat. My arch goes flat up there. I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put you... I'm going to bring you down by one. There we go. That gives me a little something between here and in there. So I'm going to have to do the same thing over here, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and bring that down as well. I could use that uh, longer one, I suppose, couldn't I? That one's all right. It's got plenty of space between it. I just want a little bit of a space there, just so it's not... You know, flat to it. Now we got a oh nope. Oh, we got a little bit of a gap in there. Uh, I'm out of shroud too. Okay. Well, we knew that was going to happen, didn't we? We'll put that up there, and then I could use a grapple to get myself up there. But I think I'd kind of prefer having stairs just to have that structure in there. You know. Can't quite jump up there. That's okay. What we could do is um, let's put this up. Um, I'm gonna go with a wood floor up here, and then we'll do some kind of rail. We're gonna go with the wood floor up here, though. We've got some junctions in here, though. I need to think about what I'm gonna do about these stone junctions. I guess I could swap it out a little bit if I had to. Anyways, we'll, we'll come to that when we get to it. I've got a few blocks over here that we're missing, too. Since we have these, let's go ahead and put these in. Uh, that tree's let me walk through it. You know... Did I need one there? I did, okay. See, I don't like this corner right here. This corner is not going to work for me. I'm thinking what I need to do is put you probably right there. Well, I need to do my foundations. Right? That should make me nice and... Uh, there we go. We finish this off with the wood. That'll be nice. Then we can have this junction right here. This this junction between... Yeah, this works just fine then. Okay. Alright, let's go do a little resource gathering. Uh, Matt. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go to the other one because it's just... Um, I feel like I picked the stuff up faster in the other one. If I walk down the road through the shroud near our base, it's just real easy to just go left and right and pick up those uh, the shroud stuff. It's really easy. It's where I farm our shroud liquid. Zoink! And give me that. Are you guys watching the Red Dead series? I know some of you are. 
I had some I had some fortune over the weekend with that a little bit. Managed to actually do a satchel and craft up a better satchel. What did you guys do? We went out to a mall this weekend. Variety bought a car this weekend. Oh, I don't think so, but there you go. Everybody's dead. That's that's kind of excessive force, huh? Let's go ahead and um, yeah, let's put this down here. There we go. I'll t I'll carry that. That works better. Watch it, Bonnie. Oh, I thought that was a... I didn't know what the heck that was. <laughs> I didn't know what that was running at me. I think I got them all over there. So, I mean, it just, it just feels like it's easier and I get more. I don't know. Maybe it's just a mental thing I do. Oh, oh, oh. Sliding right down that hill. Ah, oh, man. And you get this really... They've got the uh, spores in them, so that it, these guys are actually pretty nice to get a hold of. Um, looking for some more. The Shroud Liquid. My skull is busy. It's killing. Oh, here we go. Barbaric Wisconsin, uh, how's the double barrel shotgun working? Uh, I have not used it. I've got the pump action one, but I've not been using it because I'm supposed to get these perfect animal pelts. And the shotgun just tears them apart so you don't get the perfect pelts. So I learned a few things about hunting the small game and uh, things like that, which was really fun. So I wound up making the first satchel that we could make, and now I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a badger. Gotta find a badger. I was searching for a badger last night for about an hour and a half. I did not find a badger. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. The skull is a nice addition. I love that guy. Uh, no, I got the elk. That's it. I was able to make that first satchel, which uh, expanded our um, it expanded our satchel for our health goods that we can carry. So we got that one. Now the second satchel, I'm looking for a badger. I need a badger to be able to make the next one. So that's kind of the other next animal I'm looking for. And then if I find any other animals that are perfect, I've just been practicing the hunting part of it. Got a new horse again. <laughs> but it's a really nice one. They're all they're all great. I love the horses. Oh, hello! There you go. Thank you. Oh here we go. Here's a here's a pile of them. Oh, the trees too, yeah. We gotta get the shroud wood as well. We'll grab up a bunch of this stuff right now, and then, uh, I guess I should, I, I could probably work on the trees too, right? Why the heck not? All right, you're right. Let's go ahead and chop down some trees too. My skull friend here. Uh, Argo 
Yeah, it says there are so many roads in the map, we definitely need a mount. It would be great. I would love it if there was something like that. Somebody tipped me off to a game that's coming out that's a, a Western-based game. I really love Western-based games, and I wish somebody would just... Outlaws of the Old West, we played that for quite a bit and had some fun with it, but then it just, you know, it fell to the wayside and never got finished, and there were a lot of issues with it. That was a, that was a pretty good attempt right there. Red Dead Redemption's just the best at the moment. It would be really nice if somebody had this kind of a format right here that was based in a Western. It would be just awesome, I think. Red Dead Redemption is just so realistic, you know. The time period, 1899, you know, you just, you, electricity's just kind of starting to get around a little bit. You got the telegraph, so communication's faster. Uh, telephones are coming into play, so in some areas, you know, kind of communication's even quicker. And things are, I guess, getting settled. Pretty crazy time period. I guess it's I'm chopping these things down. I've mentioned I don't like chopping down these big guys because it's just it, it's so difficult to see that stuff on the ground that it doesn't. Uh, I feel like I leave a bunch of it behind. It breaks my heart every time I do it. Um, I do need to find. What do we have for shroud liquid on us now? We have, I'll put these guys back down here, and I'm going to delete you guys, salvage that. I got a stack of 28, I don't think we're going to be using any more, too many more of the big boy blocks there, but we could try, we might be able to, we've got 92 shroud wood, huh? let's go for an even 100 if we can get 100 of those, that'd be nice. Did that get me there? 96. One more tree. There we go. Perfect. Got bunny. So how's Argonaut today? Uh, I should take a look at Nightingale. I did Argonaut. I, I, I purchased it. I tried it and played it for about two hours and it did not grab me and I re returned it. I did try Nightingale. Just wasn't, it just didn't grab me right away. Hey Mayhem, how you doing? At last you've made it to a live stream? You've, you've been here, right? We've had complete mayhem here. I don't know why I'm coming up here. Uh, I'm running a little low on sandstone too, it looks like. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, there's that. <laughs> oh, Terry. Yeah, well... It's Red Dead Redemption is the Wild West. It does show that I'm taking the meat and the fat and the antlers and I'm, I'm harvesting the animal. I know the carcass is still laying there, but you do see as, a, as I harvest, as I, as I butcher the animal, I do take the ingredients. Unless my inventory gets filled up, then, then I've got a problem. You see the carcass still on the ground, but it uh, has actually been harvested. Dark enough. Uh, I'm pretty fine, man. Even if definitely sad because on Friday a friend of mine decided to. Well, he. Could, oh, that's that's awful. That's unfortunate. That is really bad. It's too bad. Yeah. So you're doing all right, huh? That's good to hear. I 
And let's grab this guy back right here. There we go. See that? That's got a nice. That's got a nice way it uh, hooks together. I like the way that looks together. It's very nice. I feel like I've done a better job about keeping my blocks on track this go around too. Now, we gotta talk about getting up here. And one more, there we go. Awesome. I think I may want to... Bump up that up a little bit more. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I put one more Maybe one more. Let's 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 try this. Let's go. Can I take you and put you? Let's see. If I take that up, can I put you right there? Will you grab the floor? You will do that. Okay. Sweet. What if I do? There we go. And then X. If I do that, there we go. I'm gonna bring this all up just by one more little block. Well, then I think then then our arches are gonna look a little more impressive. That's what I think, anyways. We'll see. I'm so glad I can build in that canopy. That gives my arches a little bit more of a gap between the arch and where this is the next area is going to start. I don't think it gives it too much here. I think this works out just fine right there. Although here we have that problem where I don't have enough of a oomph right here. I gotta do that right there, you know? So I've got a little bit of stone between there. This one too here needs this needs a little bit of a little TLC there. So this week I think we should go after the uh, the next our our, our last uh, what you call it hollow hall the big one. Do that right there. I'm leaving them open in the middle so I can do some kind of lighting in here, I think. I, I just want to keep that this area right here open if I can. I'm thinking another chandelier hanging right here would probably look pretty good. Another one kind of right in here because we're not going to, you know, we're not going to do anything with this area right here off of this point at, as far as I know. could do is lose the tree uh, yeah we've talked about that <laughs> we've talked about it we have talked about the tree for sure I really like the tree I do I do I don't know if I want to fill this in like all with metal or if I want to keep it kind of sparse in here. What if... Hmm...
If I... Okay, there's no... This just... Does this just snap? It has to snap? I thought you could unsnap this stuff and, and make it so you don't... If I do that there and I do... No, 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 no. See about putting those stained glass, green stained glass in between here. And I don't think I want to do that. We talked about that down here. It's just it gets to be too, it's too busy. How, what am I going to use for my railings? I kind of like to figure that out too. What are the railings going to look like in here? I, I don't mind these. They seem a little... I don't know. What if, what if you put these on top of it? What does, that, what does that make it do? Is that interesting at all? Yeah, these guys just... Uh, <laughs> they got a little mind of their own. It's easier to set them down on top of stuff than it is to, I think, come up over the side here like that. It wants to go into it. Use the windows as a railing. Yeah, I, that's that's a thought too. Right, exactly. That's kind of where I was going up there a little bit. Is We could do these guys down here. Be nice if you could turn these guys sideways. And rotate them and, and flip it on its side. That would be cool if you could do that. Then we could continue the pattern that we've got on the windows and stuff up here. We'd have a circle and we'd have a couple of these and then a circle and a, you know. So on and so forth. You like them on their own? For for a rail? Let's pick these guys up. This is the only masonry rail we can make as far as I know. And then we have also have these bars. But these bars seem kind of... A little flimsy to me. Like they're not made for a railing or anything like that. They're made more for like trimming a window or something. They just don't... Um, they don't come at me as being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, I guess. I mean, you could do something like that right there and you line them up. Let's go ahead and we could sleep. Yeah, more like guardrails, right. I'm just trying to think of a creative way to do the guardrails. There's quite a bit of space there, and that's what I wanted. We've got the, the big boy blocks making the whole walls and stuff, so we've got a lot of extra space there that we can play around with. Let's go back down here, I guess. This leaves me a lot of space in here, which I think maybe a chandelier or two hanging down from up here would be probably good in this area as well. And, you know, I kind of like you guys are steering me to not go too tall with anything in here, too. So we do have, I mean, that is that is a pretty awesome view, is it not? Look at that. That's awesome. It's so pretty through there with the, with the reds and stuff and the, the pods all and the little bit of yellow here and there. It's just, it's really kind of, it's just amazing. So I do like the idea that we're not going to go tall with stuff. And I don't care for those like that. I like what I did over at Oswald's place, but I don't like them for that. Uh, can you add the well block on top of the windows to finish it off? The well block. I think so, but that might cut off some of our view. Let's see. Um, and I don't know if I'd want to go with the well block. What about maybe the shroud wood? Let's try the... Um, Let's go down here. Uh, actually, down one more. This might be too bulky. We'll see. Can I cue that to me? Oh, I guess I got the... There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's turn that off. So 
funny with what I think is straight, huh? <laughs> that was nowhere near what it needed to be. Oh my gosh. Let's uh let's finish it off before we before we even look at it. It is forehead tall, you know, it is up this high, and I don't know that there's any thinner block we could put on here to to do that. I think we were talking uh, last week about the fact you could take the, the tables and slide them together and make all kinds of different things. There's a staircase you can make, there's just all kinds of neat things you can do. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not opposed to that because I, I feel like the metal railing by itself seems kind of... I guess it doesn't seem narrow, right? If I put my hands up on that, would I be able to put my hand completely across that? His hand. I think so, right? So maybe it's not bad without the wood on there. It just gives it a nice little accent, I think. Let's go out front and take a look. Oops, sorry. We don't need that. Now I wonder if maybe we took that off or we added some of those iron blocks in there. We have the iron on us. We used it for hanging the chandeliers in the windows. We're going to use it for there too. But what if we added some of those in there? Um, as Let's go. Let's, uh, let's take you out of there. We'll take you out of there. What do you think? The middle's right about here, maybe? Right there? That looks about middle to me, right? <laughs> Is this the guy who can't place the block straight? Yep. Yep! Don't you worry. I've got everything under control here. <laughs> Ooh, that could be kind of pretty, too, right there. Mm, no. No, 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 no. Cancel that. Where's the metal block? There you are. There you are. Okay, so if I do that there... Uh, okay, I don't... Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I don't like the way the wood comes up over the top of that right there. But I do like the way that looks. Hold on. I'm going to bust these out. And I guess I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. What if we do the metal across here? Maybe that will look nice. It doesn't seem quite as tall either. You notice that? Is it just me? No, it is. It's shorter. It's not as tall as the wood block. You can see actually over the top of this. It looks, it looks more expensive. <laughs> uh. Uh, you could try with one block roof piece, maybe. One block roof piece. Um, I don't like any of the roof pieces, though, for up here. I want to do the, the metal. So where am I at with that? I am... I'm in a little ways with that, right? I don't have I don't have more of those. Okay, so we're gonna have to go make more of those. Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's do that. Let's go get some more. We'll finish this off downstairs, and I we've got to do something else. Well, maybe we can do the same thing upstairs. I've got to figure out how I want the uh, upper floor there to gel into the rest of the place. It needs some some beefing up in there. Oswald. Uh, I don't know why I'm in there. Don't need to be. Okay, I can't make well block. What am I here for? I am here for the... Um, why did, oh, I'm here for the um, windows. Sorry, Oswald. I, I, I don't need that. I need to go down here and see the carpenter. Sir, 
We are looking for some windows. There they are. Charcoal, huh? Um, that's silly. Always a pleasure. Yep. Hold on, I'll be right back. We've got charcoal. Don't you worry about it. Turns out we did need to be here, Oswald. There we go. Now let's go get those. We'll make a... Uh, well, we'll see. What do we have for iron? I, I can't even remember. What, iron bars. 198, huh? Iron's kind of my, my favorite metal to go get. Thomas, uh, you can use bronze block instead of iron for a gold-looking rail. Yeah, I... We, we were looking at the different... We're using the iron right now, and I I don't want to switch from the iron in the main entryway and have that going on too. The door kind of has that presence to it on its own. It's got that um, that bronze look to it. Yeah, that, that's good, right? That's that's My a bunch. Pleasure. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now, what about these? Uh, let's maybe I should make a few more of those metal blocks. What is it called? An iron. Iron block, there we go. Just some more of those. Here we go. So we're, we're farther out this way, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so hold on. Before I do this, I don't like the fact that my stairs are showing on this side. So... Let's go to our well block again. If I bring you out this way, what's going to happen? Anything anything interesting? If I do that and... Oh, maybe I could do then... Hmm... Don't really need that block there. Yeah, no. Just thinking maybe I could do a little something. I guess that <laughs> fit right there, huh? Fill that in. I, mean, I just do that right there. Let's do that instead. I'm going to go ahead and take you out. Let's take these guys out of here. We don't need them there at the moment. Let's get the other guy back. There we go, just like that. Now maybe here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this gives us a, this will give us the opportunity to do um, something like this. Maybe here. Hmm. If I go here with that, something like this right here. I could do this guy here, and then back to this guy here. That could mimic our entryway. Uh, I've got a railing that's going to be here. Oh, that's not in the right spot. Is that all the way? That's all the way up against the wall. Okay, I should have more of those, right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I thought I made a whole bunch. Do you there, and you there, and we'll do you there. 
And if I put the same thing over on this side... Uh, 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 I had you. There you are. There you are. I think that's the right spot. Yep, there we go. And we put you right... Wow, these guys are really kind of a little bit finicky, huh? There we go with that one. And then we put you right up on top of there. We'll do... Oh, we could do some kind of a trim piece here. I guess we'll use the, uh, the iron block. Let's switch back. We're going to go a little crazy with it right now. Looks like I'm in an iron block mode. We do that. We're going to go ahead and put these guys across here. That's the wrong block. There we go. Hmm. I was just thinking right here would be a, probably a good thing to do. Maybe I'm a little too ambitious with how high this is going. Rebecca Martin says Enshrouded is so fun, indeed. Wants to open their world so the rest can come and visit. Yeah, I know, right? It's just amazing. It's just such total build freedom and uh, imagination. I don't know that I like that. I don't like that, I don't think. My concern is, is that I've got this area where it's open, so it's easy to, you know, you can walk up and fall out of there. And I don't want it to do something like that. Um, it could be its own window, right? We could do its own thing here, where it's not like the others. One of these things is not like the others, but... Maybe I should put... I really don't need those way up there, do I? I could do like this... We came down one, right? We're going to make those chandeliers and put them in here. I think maybe that would help me decide how how high up I want this to go over here. Right? I think I need to put... I need to put one more block across here, don't I? I need to put a regular well block across here and across there. That's not in the right spot. I need to beef that window sill up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and grab this guy here. Can I get you all the way up there? Ugh, I can't get this guy all the way up there, can I? No. Well, that's a good sign. That means I've got a tall building. Oh, I've got a chandelier here in my inventory. Hold on, let's put this in and see what it looks like over here. Distractions, distractions. I think I said the caption for this. We try to finish this today, right? Look at me. It's taking me forever and a day just to get this part done. Okay, I like that there. I do. I like that there, but I don't think I like these guys. I think you guys see what I was going for there, but it's just, it's going to take up too much of it, and it's just not going to look right. So maybe I come up with something a little bit smaller than that. Maybe I just do one of these here. What if we do, what if we leave that there, and what if we just put it around this guy, and maybe... Let's go back up to the micro block and then see a part of me wants to use the well block here just because we are. It, it just seems to me like it's going to trim this out better, I guess. That's this staircase to me right here, I guess. Oop, 
careful now. Put the metal under the window rail to preserve the line of sight. Put the metal under the window rail. I'm not sure I understand that one. Put the metal under the window rail to preserve the line of sight. Oh, well, the whole idea is I don't feel like the top of this railing is... It is it is beefy enough, I guess, but for me it doesn't look as dramatic as I want it to be. So I want this to be a bigger rail up here. I just feel like this window rail is not... I feel the same way about the metal. Um, I just don't feel like that's... I don't feel like that says anything to me right there. I don't feel like that says railing to me. It's just, you know, it's not big enough for me. So, this is nice. I like this idea right here. We can still see out just fine. But it does give it a little bit of a beefier look to it, I guess. Now I'm thinking this right here, we'll just do this right here. We'll just do, yeah, we'll do this guy. I think that right there. Yeah, that's that's great. That that, that works just great. But we got our stairs and up we go. Right? We're out of there. The chandelier is hanging pretty good. I think that's far enough down for it right there. That would work. I could reach farther with this block than I can with the long one. So I'm just going to use this guy here. Uh, I think I missed a spot. There we go. I guess I'm too lazy to put the lattice or the uh, scaffolding down. Okay, we do that and then I get the metal blocks out. Maybe I do two of them here. Maybe I do two chandeliers here. We go come out like three right here. We put a chandelier here and then we do one on the other side too. So one, two, one, one, two, and three. And then I come over here. One. Yeah, one there. Uh, there, uh-huh. There. There. I'm kind of wasting a few. I don't care. It's okay. Why does it feel like that didn't go in the right... Oh, I didn't go in the right spot. Oh, yes, it did. There we go. I think it's in the right... There we go. Have we come one down from there? Is that right? That's our mount there. It looks like the stuff is lining up against it nicely, so it's not uh, looking weird. That's good. So let's go one, two, and... Th wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three didn't really get me as far out as I wanted to be, did it? I should have measured this. It's one, two, three, four, five, and... Probably six? Oops. All right, let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, we'll go six. You'll never see up there anyways, it's fine. I feel like that's uh, that's good. It should come down probably one more, I think. God, I could probably move it over to here, too, and it would line up with that right there, huh? Maybe that's what I should do instead. Let's grab these guys instead. That would make it life a little bit easier, too, I think. Take these guys out. We've got sort of that area right there already. Might as well use that. 
Yeah, we'll do it like that right there. Right at the edge of that. So where am I? Right here? Hmm, not quite right. One too far and I went. Still look great. Oh, those are tough to get to. Okay, here we go. Let's bring them down. Yeah, there we go. Is that right? Okay, that's good. So I need two chandeliers. We've got one over there. One, two. There's no window over there. We're going to actually block that off. This is going to get sealed up here, too, so we can put something in this corner here. Oh, you guys are talking about Fallout? I've been looking at Fallout, too. But we're, we're, we're at Red Dead right now, so I've got a lot of Red Dead going on. What if I put something like this here? Eh, that's probably not going to look very good, is it? No, it just looks stupid. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I need two of the chandeliers, and that would take care of this area here. Let's go back to the other spot. Like I said, it's kind of scary. I played Fallout, I think the first one, a long, long time ago. But I never played anything else like that. Well, that's not entirely true, right? Skyrim is Bethesda, so... Uh, I came here for a couple of chandeliers. Illumination and... Oh, really? I'm missing candles, huh? Hm. I'll be here. Well, okay then. We drop those off. Uh, we don't need those. I don't need those. Not on me, anyways. Illumination. We needed two of those, right? Uh, I'm gonna make. Uh, let's make a. Let's make four, just so we have them. Odds are we're gonna use more of those, anyways. I think that's good there. Measure twice, cut once. Oh, words to live by, but you'd think I'd. Nope, not this guy. Uh, anything else I need over here? I think I'm good. We're, we're still in the thinking stage. I, I don't know if it's going to be nighttime or what. <laughs> the first Fallout made you mad because there's a... God, I don't remember that at all. It was a long time ago. Yeah, I've been playing games since Pong. You know? We were talking about, you know, having the Commodore 64 in your classroom. With these simple little floppy disk games. plop one right there and we are gonna plop another one right about there oh there we go now it's starting to look like a thing huh <laughs> it's starting to look like a thing okay so we we have our mood lighting up high let's get this out of the way it's just kind of uh it's in the way 
I'm not using these guys at all. It seems like uh, they're, they're going to be for something. We're going to use them for something. It'd be nice if you could flip them and turn them and, and alternate them a little bit more than you can for those blocks right there. I, I don't think that would be considered a complaint, right? That's just... It'd be cool if you could. The, the game's amazing. It's amazing. There's not much to complain about. There's I don't, I don't know anything to complain about, really. Uh, let's go ahead and close you. I wish this was centered. Golly, man. No, it's fine the way it is. It's fine the way it is. Stop being like that. See, I tend to like my corners to be like this up here, where it's just a little bit bigger. But maybe that's too big up there. I need to come up with a way to beef this up a little bit out here. So this slides into this a little bit better. It's not quite so flat. This is coming along nicely in here. I like the entryway. We got all, all kinds of decoration stuff we could put in here. So that'll be great, you know. Maybe a table with some stuff on it as we go by. We can decorate this up. Now here, I need to... What if... Well, I'm... I'm down here. I'm thinking maybe... Maybe I want to bring this over. And hook into this as best I can. So this is premature. Sorry about that. You have to come out of there. But do something like that and like that. This will give me a chance to put something over on this side of the room, I guess. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe. That should be good right there. And then I'm going to need you here. X off. Well, hold on. Where's my arch at? It's right here, huh? Is it getting dark? It's getting really hard to see in here. I can't see. It's too dark. We gotta go sleep. Hold on. I, I missed something here. Sorry, guys. Rebecca Martin, tell us about it. Uh, maybe Radio want to go find it. I'm seeing. We're sleeping right now, so I looked over. So they're trying to build in the dark, and I can't see anything. Put the two-meter angled wall in the outside corners. Looks like a buttress. Okay, okay. I got you what you're saying there, Barbaric. Yeah. We could, do, we could try that. It's in a hidden dragon cave that opens up after you find a lore page. It's in a hidden dragon cave that opens up after you find a lore page. What is this place called? The dragon sword. No, I, I don't know. I don't think we've found the dragon sword yet. Have we found the dragon sword? I don't know about the dragon sword. Maybe we have. I kind of uh, stopped using swords, so I stopped paying attention. I know we found one recently, but I don't think we've really found any legendary anything in a while. Okay, let's try that again inside here and see if we can get this worked out. Nice. Let's 
too low. There we go. And yeah, the, the top areas. Is that right? Is that sitting in the right spot? Feels like it's a little low there still, doesn't it? I scrolled out as far as I can be, I am. Maybe I should put my other blocks in first so I know what I'm doing. I need to bring it down by one. There we go, just like that, there we go, okay. And now, you guys attach to that. That's not right. At least it doesn't look right. There we go. Okay, now there, I think another, we could do the chandelier thing again. Or we could do maybe another indented green. We could do the green window or we could do the white. Is that right? Is it, How much space do we have in here? I'm just thinking of another way to light this up would be possibly to do our our light here. I can enclose this with whatever we need to. Um, just thinking we could add, like we've got in the front of the building here, we can add those here. Have a nice light in there. It's like two of these, right? It is two. Okay, so we could do that. If I do that and then I put you guys here, I could put a light in here and bring this down a little bit more. Because this area back here doesn't... This, this doesn't offer us anything back here. What do we see as we come up this way, too? I guess I could bring the earth over here a little bit. I could also put a little fence or a little something right here so that you don't go that way. See what I see right here, but we got a we got a, a gap right here. Hmm. We're we're still off here a little bit. It looks like right where I just filled those in. Those are, maybe those are okay. Snap, please. I can't get the block to show up on here. Well, now everything's going to go wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. I can't get that thing to scroll in any closer to me. There we go. We get it? Finally. Finally. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. I was going to say it would be better lower with light blocks in it. We're going to have a nice... I think it's going to be a little tall. It'll be a little taller. What we're probably thinking it's going to be. But if we do... See, down here, I just don't feel like I need it down here. This should be... In, this should be not something we could fall down into. I don't like the idea that that is something we can actually fall into. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So, I think maybe what I could do is, if I fill into this level right here, we could pack some dirt up against it there, and, and that would uh, 
What does that give us left for our window here? That's a pretty good window, and then we can do it on both sides. And make this, I guess, mean something here a little bit. So we'll do it on this side. We're going to put these guys here. There you go. And you're going to go there, and you're going to go right into there. Okay. We'll do that there. Do I have that luminescent block out here? I'm pretty sure I do. I've got 40 of them. That's it, huh? Ooh, that's not good. We, I think we could make more of that if we have to. I think I can make some more of that white goo. Pretty sure we're going to need to. Uh, let's go ahead and pick our block. I've only got 40. That's not going to be enough. That's in the block. I don't want it to be in there. So, yeah. We have to double it up as well. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I had it. There it is. Use the bigger block, I know. I probably should. That's okay. Don't don't worry about it. It's gonna be alright. It's the last one. See, that's going to look nice over there. We put a little dirt down here. That should look pretty good right there. It'll give us a little bit of light out here as well. Doesn't mean anything really over there, but at least it's something decorative over there that says the structure connects with that hillside. Here, I think I'm okay with this gap right here. We could do something to put in there to make it look nice. Uh, okay, so we need to go back to our other spots. Let's see if we can make some more of that stuff with um, Balthazar. The glowing substance. All right, there's 35 of us together. We've been together now for an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half already. Crazy. Monday, Monday. All right, we need to get the uh, the goo. Not this goo. The white glowing substance is what we need. We can make two of those, huh? Alright, how many blocks can I make with that? Oh, looks like I already had some made. That's cool. Perfect. That's fine. The well blocks look pretty. The well blocks do look pretty. Uh, we really like the well blocks. We're kind of hoping the sound effect eventually goes away from them. That's attached to them. Uh, is your guy sliding across the ground a little bit every now and again? I, I've just noticed that a little bit more recently. Okay, we got that sign all figured out. We're just going to kind of fill this in, right? And it was super bright. We do not have our sunglasses on. Yep. 
Okay, again, that doesn't really give us a whole lot of light down here for anything. It doesn't really help us too much. But it looks nice up there, I think. Our little workbench right down here. So yeah, you really can't see it, but it does give off some light. I think that it works for coming down this 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 pathway better when we hit this location. It, having it right there is kind of nice to have that there. If we put a little table or something, a table and a chair here or something. You know, we'll just add something there to make it look like it's supposed to be there. We've added our chandeliers in here. Terry, uh, Citadel Forge with Fire had some fun animals to tame and ride. It was just a bit buggy, though. Yeah, Citadel Forge with Fire. I really wish it had, again, had um, improved over time, but uh, it did not. Again, abandoned. Very cool. That was another really fun game, I thought. And then, yeah, just didn't work out. Okay, so we've got our metal showing here. I guess we don't need this anymore, do we? Oh, it's quiet. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> it's quiet. Uh, let's go up to... you. And let's turn X off. I think I would like to possibly pop this out a little bit more. Let's do that right there. Give it just a little more oomph to it, you know? No, that's no good. I have to come back and go underneath. I think if I turn X back on now, it should snap, right? If I point at that, maybe? No, it wants to go into the wall. That's too bad. Bump this out. There we go. We'll do something on the corner here to give it a look as well. And I've jumped I jumped outside. All over the board here today. It does give me a little place to jump up if I ever had to. This should go all the way down, of course, to the ground as well. Now in the corner, this could be a good opportunity for us to put something different here if we wanted to. Hey, Queen Nuts, thanks for being here. You did, you made it. Hmm... Yeah, we could put a different kind of block in there. I'm out. Go back and get some more shroud liquid. Now if I do that... Yeah, that's good. We don't want to go any higher than that because that's going to start blocking out our, our glass here. We don't want to do that. And we added our green in there, which was nice. It's not super visible, but I think as you come out, you kind of get a glimpse of it. It's tucked away in there, but it, it, it looks good. We could add some green in here if we wanted to, or something. I, I feel like this is a great spot for a bench and or maybe a table, and I don't know. It, it just seems like it's screaming for something like that to be there. I don't think you have too much along the rail, right? Because you'd come up here to look over it. 
we're, we're just a little too short. But it's, it's better than the wood was, right? It's much better than what the wood was. I like the fact that the trim stayed consistent on both sides of the window there. The blocks did when they trimmed out. That's good. Uh, we don't want anything in there, I don't think. Do we want any kind of light here? Because it's just, you know, that would be kind of silly, I think. It might hit us. Yeah, we shouldn't have it. For some reason, that doesn't look right either, does it? Does that look off to you, that doorway? <laughs> Thanks, Queen Nuts. DV? Iron, maybe, huh? Iron, maybe. Did I try using roof pieces as... No, I don't, I don't, there's no roof piece that I want to add to this particular part of the build. There isn't one that interests me enough to put it up to try it out. I feel like that doorway is off. It's just me. Feels like this is down lower than this over here. Does it feel that way? It feels that way to me. I think that's off. <laughs> would not, which would not surprise me. You think it's the ground? Hmm. When I stand right here in the middle of the stairs, I feel like this. I could see this archway really well, and I can't see this archway at all. I feel like it's this this is this is wrong over here I feel like Did we use the big one here it looks like we used the bigger one here Okay so we need to go down one Yeah this is what we used I think over here uh over Yeah we used this guy here Let's try that again We'll take those out, and we'll try this again. I should, you know, maybe what I should actually do here is use the smaller one so that my doorway has a little bit bigger of an archway to walk through. What do you think of that? Um, I think that might make sense. Now that we've got kind of the window trimmed and everything, we can see just how much space we actually have, and it seems to me that that might be... That's a little bit better, right? It doesn't come... It's not quite so close to our heads as we come through here, so maybe that worked out better that way. To have it not be right. Come on now. X. Turn X on. There we go. And then maybe come back with this guy. Uh, that guy there, that guy there. There we go. That gives us a bigger doorway, and that looks like now it's sitting properly. Yeah, that was not right. Okay. I got that right, okay. Yeah, that's that should be okay. Yeah, that opened that up pretty good, too. I like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. We could add a porthole light here and a porthole light here, like this is here, uh, but just do like the one circle. So we'd have one of these guys. Uh, uh, this is. What is going on, man? I gotta bust out the blocks first, huh? If I were to do this, where would I put this at? Um. I don't think it matters. I can kind of do whatever I want to do. Now, if I take the rail, or the window, the window, I should say, i put you in... You'll go in... That, that's the right size? Okay, that's the right size. If 
we do that, and then I switch up to... I want light. I don't want the green. The green's not going to give us any light. I'm trying to add a little bit of light here so we can see what we're doing when we're walking around in here. Do that. Put those there. Add you guys here. Add you right there. Again, I don't think it's really something we're going to see, but I mean, we know it's there, right? We put it there. But it'll add a little bit of light to the staircase as we come up. And maybe a little bit of interest, too, as you go by, too, you know? Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Without going too far, too far overboard. There we go. We can see that from here, too, as we come this way. Try to just... We've got a big doorway there, but this... this I, I want to represent the staircase a little bit to show just that there's the staircase right there, you know? I like that. Part of me wants to move this over. <laughs> Part of me wants to move this window over just a little bit so it's centered in here, but I'm trying to get over the fact that it's not. It's fine the way it is. The only thing we got left in here is maybe some decorative stuff in the bottom floor. Let's go up top and see how these rails look if we do them up top real quick. What do we got left? We've got like 15 minutes left here, so we can, we can keep... Yeah, let's try it out. I feel like maybe I need something a little bit more beefy here. I don't know that this is going to be enough. Georgina says she thinks, yeah, you'd have to change that window. Yeah. The window. Yeah, it's just... That's why I like my corners to have the, the block here, one here, and one here. It keeps me... I like having also to have that little nook, this little corner all the time. And I just don't have that there. If we do this, we're going to have to do something like that right there. We'll put a block in the corner, right? I mean, we could do it where we went every other one. Maybe that would line up. I don't know. But I don't feel like this may be grand enough for this type of thing. It lines up like that pretty good, but when it doesn't go this way, I don't know. I'm thinking I could put something in between each of these, just to change this out a little bit. Do I really need to go any higher with this, or do do I want to put a roof on it? I think I would rather keep it like this and maybe add some kind of uh, more decor stuff up here, I guess. I feel like up here I could do something that's more of a turret type thing. Yeah, iron blocks in between could look good. But I feel like from afar it's not going to look like much. It just looks small. What am I doing? Yeah, there's this, there's this guy right here, this little four-banger, this guy, he's a little bit smaller than the other one. See what I mean? It, it just, it gives it a little more size to this area up here, is I guess what I'm looking at. So if I do that there, that there, I would do that one there, and I would put that there. And just to make it... I 
to do that right there. We could even those out, and then I would do... I think I may have messed this up. Nope, there we go. Okay, I'm out of those blocks. But if I do something like that right there, then I can put my rail in between that. How did... Did we, did we keep the other rails on us? The metal stuff just isn't big enough. Yeah, th these are the battlements. These would be the battlements right here, where you'd be able to stand and in between and, and fight down, I guess, is what I'm thinking. Something of that nature. I won't add any more of these up here. I just feel like that, that would be a little more substantial than having just these little these little guys all along here but it's the same size it's the same height but it's it's the thickness there there that's kind of nice too but yeah we could do that and then I could even yeah I don't know is, is this gonna be even doable really I see it doesn't line up right one of these blocks is off just a hair it's off by a space Come on, pick it up. There you go. Well, this is off a little bit. Anyways, that's kind of the ideas. I'm tossing that around. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. And the other thing we could do is we get kind of um, ornate with it too. Hey, John O'Wells, it's going really good. Thanks for being here. Hey, Neek. Chris. Sorry, I missed some of you guys coming in. Sorry about that. See you later, Argo. Let's go ahead and just for a try, I'm curious. Just thinking maybe we could do... Well, that's not going to sit up against that very well at all, is it? That's interesting. It doesn't even want to go up against that at all right there, that block. Jim. I don't like the way that one comes apart when you break them. This this block, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But you could take off like a, a bits and pieces, but that took off the whole thing there. So I'm not pushing the right button there. I'm, I'm not hitting the right thing to take those back off. There we go. I guess you gotta aim at the whole thing, huh? There we go. Something like that would be the idea. Can I actually put these up here? I can actually go up a little higher too. So I can act I get away with this and we could leave the tree here. And then we could just leave the tree there. It'll let me do it. So we can at least go one more something of this nature of that size is what I'm thinking. Oh my god, it just went dark instantly, didn't it? I didn't make it up there. Yeah, what are you playing, Neek? What are you lurking and playing? Stranded Alien Dawn, huh? Okay. You asking me, John, if I tried the Eden scenario? For no, I didn't. Yeah, we will have some Red Dead adventures this afternoon for sure. I'll record two episodes today. So we'll do some Red Dead this afternoon. Got us a new satchel. Um, we're, we're, we're hunting badger. <laughs> we need a badger. All right, let's take a look at this, guys. Kind of nearing the end of the stream here. Come around the corner. We got our beautiful doorway, which now looks like... I think it does look like it's it's lined up properly now. It is. It's It looks good. The doorway looks good. We got our a bit of a rail on either side of our staircase coming down here. We've added some lighting in here and in here. I like that a lot. 
The indenting is fantastic. I like that. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should put blocks up on top of that. Got some more lighting put in here. It's mostly, I think, decorative lighting. I should have looked at it while it was dark at night so we could have seen. Sorry about that. I didn't think about it. Chris is doing okay. You got the, the Mandalords. I saw that Mandalords came out. Yeah, we tried that when the uh, demo was out. I remember that. It was fun. Yeah, I haven't been in the mood to play one of those a as of late. But yeah, yeah, there's always a time when I go back and do them and play them. So I noticed that. Um, uh, oh, what? Austreve, Austreve. Also, they've been having some big updates on that one too. Yeah, so I need more well blocks to kind of finish this bump out on the side of the building, which is going to give us a little bit of something there. A little more depth around the base of it, at least. We'll do that along the side here. And then add something here in the corners. We'll put some, uh, maybe a different block. We'll see what lines up good with this. And that would be nice to add just a, diff a little bit different piece of trim right there. And I'll work something out, too, for the back side, because it looks a little too... Looks a little too flat back here. Just the way this ends right here. You see how it ends like that? It, we got the hang over here where it hangs over the edge. I like that. And this side it doesn't. So maybe... Maybe I should have done that all the way around. God, that's a lot of stuff to change around, huh? Maybe I should have done that all the way around. Have that overhang. Probably what I should have done, huh? I probably should have done that. Done the overhang on this side too. Pushed everything back one block this way. Rebecca says, my husband banned me from Red Dead after I tied a lady to the railroad tracks and drove my horse off a cliff in the first <laughs> few minutes. I just said, no, you don't. <laughs> I have not tied anyone to the tracks, but the recent horse that I did acquire was not acquired legally. But it is a pretty nice horse. I named her Sophia. I figured she's uh, she looks like a Sophia. So I named her Sophia. I also grabbed a Mustang over the weekend and took that all the way to level 4. I want to try taking that up and, and selling it in Valentine to see if a uh, it's, it's level 4. So I'm wondering if I get a better price for it. And I'll be honest, I've got this little... I found this little Mustang and I, I, I broke it, right? And that horse has had more comments from the public than any other horse I've ridden in Red Dead Redemption at the moment. Um, people all the time going by me, oh, that's a real nice horse. Ooh, that's an awesome looking horse. Everybody says it to me. So I'm curious to see if it's worth any money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'll be doing that. I'll, I'm going to have break after this, have a little lunch. Then I'm going to jump in and play Red Dead for uh, probably about three hours. And I'll record all of it and we'll, we'll edit some of it down a little bit. And have an episodes uh, put together for you guys so you can enjoy the Wild West. But thanks for being here today. I think we got, we didn't get it finished. We didn't. I'm sorry. It's going to take me a little while to figure out what I want to do here completely. But I think we're on the right track in terms of what our front entrance way is going to look like. I feel like we are. It sure is fun coming up with the different ideas and then getting feedback from you guys and what we could do as well is really perfect. See, part of me wants to put a piece of trim along the edge of the windowsill right there and up that way too just to give it even more... more design, I guess. Got to do the rails up there. We got stuff going on on the tippy top there. So, yeah, there are all kinds of different things going on here, right? All right, that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for being here. I'll do it again uh, tomorrow. We'll do it again tomorrow. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.